How are you feeling about today, telling Debbie? Yep, yeah, strong. Very strong. Determined and, uh, and resolute. Do you think I should tell her when she comes down or wait till she's finished her cornflakes? You don't want to upset her just before she goes to school, do you? Tonight, then. I think she's having tea at Lisa's tonight. I might be a little bit late myself as well. well t tomorrow would... We'll... Paddy! We're absolutely rubbish at this, aren't we? No, it's just very difficult. Yeah, we're rubbish. Yeah. When are we going to tell her then? We'll stick to tonight. Right. We'll brace ourselves, stick to our guns, yeah. and just do it. Yeah. And, and so that it doesn't just come out of the blue, this morning we won't let her have the pig at the table. Oh, brilliant. Great. Right. Agree. Yeah. Fantastic. Commander Kirk. Hiya. Morning, Debbie. Morning, Debbie. About the pig. Breakfast time. That's all right, thanks. I'll have this piece of toast this morning. Bye, Kane. Just a can of those, please. And me? Three packets? Maybe you can eat your lunch having that lot in your break. You mean your break? It's like just for the bus. Got to keep my packer up, haven't I? Have you been rude? No. Hey, up. Here comes Naomi Campbell. Wrong colour. Wrong everything. Just leave her alone, Rob. I've got the famous pig with you, then. Oi! You're deaf or something. Do you like smoky bacon crisps? Yeah, she's probably just had to give it back, haven't you? Yeah, but it's been made into them. No way, I'm keeping it forever and ever. Well, does Emily know this? Yeah. Uh, I'd take you to meet him only. He's quite a fussy pig and, well, I don't think he'd like you very much. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. All ready for you. Thanks. How are you coping, Ollie? With, with your schoolwork and everything? All right. <laughs> Dan is useless round the house, though. It's a bit like I've turned into my own boyfriend's mother. But Grandad's great. It's just... he's getting on a bit, you know? Must be hard. You let me know if I can do anything. Look, I, I wanted to say thanks for, for having a word with Debbie. Well, in the middle of everything that's going on for you. And, well, she's having a hard time at home and, and I know it helps. It's OK. Probably helps me too. Not many people can understand like she can. And I know it hasn't happened yet, but in a way, Maybe that's worse. She's got it all to come. What hasn't happened yet? You know, mum dying of cancer. How long has she got? Her mum drinks. So, so Debbie's home life's difficult. That's why she makes up the stories, I think. She wants attention, sympathy. Yeah, well, she's certainly got plenty of that. Ollie, I'm, I'm so sorry. It wasn't very considerate of her, given your situation. I'm sure she wasn't thinking. She's probably not very happy underneath. Not very happy? No. She doesn't know the meaning of the word. Like, she has still got a mum. Her mum is still alive. She has got no idea what it feels like. Nobody has. To have had a mum like mine, a brilliant mum, Ollie. who was there my whole life and then suddenly just isn't there anymore. How dare she? To think I actually felt sorry for her. Ollie! I... Are you still following me? Oh, you're walking with Pandems? No way. Look, I have told you. I ain't babysitting for no kid. You walk yourself home, all right? Got a crush on him, have you? Explains why you're such a liar. What are you on about? You've been telling lies about a man. If you knew what it was like to love somebody like I love my mum, you wouldn't be playing games like that. But you don't, do you? Neither of you do. How much later? Right. No. No, she's not back yet anyway. No. Any minute now. Oh, she's here now. Hello, Debbie. Hi. Paddy is going to be a bit late. I'll make you drink in a minute. That's all right, I'm going to bed. What now? Debbie? Debbie, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Debbie! 